Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe and today we are not going to do a painting. We are going to build a turntable um, on a budget. I don't know if this will work. We will test this out together. Um, what we've got here and these, most of the stuff came from the Dollar Tree. I got two of these round cake pans from the Dollar Tree and then a bag of marbles. Um, this I already had on hand but the glue's kind of incidental, so any glue will work. Um, scissors, you, any any brand of scissors. <laughs> Some foam board. I cut this foam board to a 14 by 14 um, square-ish. I didn't do any exact measurements. Um, and some tape. So the main things you're going to need to build, fingers crossed, is just the pie pan, or the cake pans and the marble. So I saw this on a news cast earlier this year during the pandemic for like organizing your kitchen or whatnot and it was to make a turntable to put like your spices in and then you can turn it so it like organized your kitchen cabinet I don't remember what um what channel or anything to give them credit so I apologize um but we got one pipe one cake pan I don't know why I'm saying pie pan um but cake pan and a bag of marbles and we're just gonna pour these marbles in here so just pour them in there Put the other pie pan on top, cake pan on top, and in theory, it spins. So, we're going to test it out. What I'm also going to do, and you may not need to do this, but I think it's a good idea, is I'm going to glue the top, the top, sorry, I want to make sure you can hear me, the top cake pan onto this foam board. So the foam board's actually what's also spinning, and then you could adhere your canvas to the foam board. So I'm going to use this E6000 glue. I already kind of measured it off. I kind of wanted it to be um, centered as much as possible. Again, it's not an exact square, so it's not going to be exactly centered, but to the best of my ability. And I'm just going to... do this not again an exact science so if you're wanting to do this to last forever and ever and uh, take more time to do it be a little bit more precise and everything and then while that sits to dry and ooh, is that glue stinky uh, i want to talk about the canvas so i cut this to 14 by 14 because most of the canvases i spin are 8 by 10s 10 by 10s maybe some 6 by 6s some smaller ones and definitely some 12 by 12s. Normally anything bigger than that I don't spend. So a 14 by 14 will be plenty big. This is an 8 by 10 canvas. I put these push pins into the four corners of the wood frame to lift it up off whatever surface I'm using. Um, and then, and again, you can use any tape. This is painter's tape. It's my go-to just because it's easy to pull off. Um, the other thing someone recommended I haven't tried yet is some like um, poster putty. I remember that from like grade school. Um, but I think that would be a great idea. I feel like that might work better than this. But this is what I've been using. It works okay-ish. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I do plan to get some poster putty in the future. So I just put four pieces of tape down. Now it's getting all off. There we go. I can still smell that glue. Whew. All right, so now that's done. Move this back over and hopefully kind of up a little bit because I do want to test this for you on the camera. Okay. Probably not completely dry, but dry enough for for right now just to do this quick test let me get some stuff out of the way okay. Okay, it's not going to be exactly perfect oh and I didn't even measure to try to get that even but let's see definitely say it works as far as it spins I just don't know how fast you can spin it to get it to actually move paint around so stay tuned I will do a pour very soon 
to see if we can get this to work. Um, you may hear that it makes a lot of noise. I can tell you even my normal turntable makes a ton of noise. So that's just part of it. <laughs> um, maybe some higher end. Um, my, the one I normally use is actually like a cake turner, like if you were decorating a cake. Um, maybe some higher end ones or some better quality ones won't make noise. But for those of you who want a turntable, who don't want to spend 20 plus dollars, or however much they cost nowadays, um, this might be a good alternative for you. Literally $3 for the materials plus the foam board. I already had this at my house. So I don't know what those go for. Um, and then your canvas, which you'll already have, push pins, which most people have around the house, and tape, scissors. I think that's all the materials I used. Glue to glue the thing on. Um, I just think that'd be easier than trying to tape this to your, to your pan. Um, and the pan's a dollar, so if something happens to this foam board, you can try to tear it off. Depending on what quality of glue you use, you can probably reuse the pan. Otherwise, the pan's a dollar. Go replace it. Put some more foam board on. Um, I'll probably put some parchment paper down on here for when I do my, my painting and spin it in order to protect this foam board a little bit more. Um, if paint gets on it, it's not a big deal at all. If paint starts to cake on it, that can be a problem. Um, so it really hasn't been for me, but it might make your surface uneven, which will make your pour uneven whenever you go to spin it. Again, probably not the end of the world, but if it's something you're concerned with, it's something to consider. Let me know what you think about this project and about this turntable. And if you think it's a good idea, if you have any ways to improve it, or if you've built something similar, let me know in the, just in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and do what makes you happy.